If you work with these little guys, you might want to stick around because I got a really helpful tip for you. So if you play with these little guys long enough, you're going to come to the conclusion that they just don't last forever. And frankly, that's the way everything's built. Nothing lasts forever, especially nowadays, if I'm being honest. But let's see what a normal battery does real quick. So I'm plug her into the charger. This one's already fully charged. So you can see you get a steady light. Good battery. Check the battery gauge. Yep, all good. All right, now I take this one. This one's obviously missing its outer shell. We plug him in, and all we get is blinking red. Now what that's telling me is that this battery is too low to charge, and with lithium-ion batteries like these are, you don't really want to let them drop completely down because then the batteries will suffer a little bit of damage. But I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to revive them real quick. And just to show you this battery is in fact dead, I'm on a 2 volt scale right now. And that's how much voltage we're getting. So definitely not enough to make this smart charger here work, but here's the trick. Alright, I'm now on a 200 volt scale because my meter doesn't really like to do this, so I got a battery pack, or not a battery pack, but a little power supply plugged in over here, and if I can work all my hands at the right time and hold my tongue in the right position, you see we get 20.1 volts. Now you can do this with just 12 volts too, but I think that 20 volts will do it just the same. This power pack that I'm using is only rated for 14. However, it does have a slight bias voltage when it's not connected to anything, so that's why you're seeing 20 instead. But here's the trick. So I got the ground side connected to the ground side of the battery pack, and we got a red blinking light on there showing the defective battery. Now watch, I'm going to touch the red, which is the positive side, and now we're charging. And now just to verify that we're charging, look at that. 9.6, 9.8, 9.9, we're already up to over 10 volts. Now, of course, that's just surface charge on the battery. Now, what you're want, gonna wanna do from here on out is monitor this battery very closely because now that you're charging them from straight up dead, these will get pretty warm. My suggestion, charge it for about a half hour, take it off the charger, let it cool down, put it back on the charger. If it does the same thing to you again, jump start it again, and then you'll be all set to go. So if these things are making your hair fall out like they already made mine do, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and use my little trick and it should help you out. Now, uh, this should not I don't know if this works across all brands, but I know it works on my cheap Ryobi batteries. So hopefully you can help save some of yours too. Hopefully this saves you a couple dollars and then hopefully you hit that subscribe button because we could really use it. We appreciate every single one of our viewers and we hope to bring you more videos like this in the future. But anyways, this is Kurt the Car Guy signing off.